Markets are fearing the worst. Joe Biden has said the U.S. is discussing potential support for a tax on Iranian oil facilities. Welcome to The Daily. My name is Jessica Amir. I'm a market strategist with Moomoo. Moo. Well, this uncertainty is rattling investors. The Aussie share market is down over 1% today. On Friday, it's now down 1.2% this week. The S&P 500, the biggest 500 stocks in the US, that's fallen a little less than the Aussie market. But now the technical indicators for both the Aussie and the US share markets are showing signs that the recent rally from a month ago has lost steam and there's risk of a pullback. Also, if Friday's US jobs report data shows data is stronger than expected, then stocks might face even further selling pressure and technical selling could also creep in, but a pullback could be short-lived. Why? Because the longer-term broad market uptrend does seem intact and that's supported by stronger-than-expected economic data and we saw some of some fresh numbers come out of the US overnight suggesting this. So what do investors need to consider? Well, first, if Middle Eastern tension rises like it is now, the US and the Aussie share markets could face further upset. We're watching the market's fear gauge as measured by the VIX, along with the US dollar and bond yields all hitting new highs. Now, these aren't very good ingredients for broad stock market gains, but do consider there's always a bull market somewhere. Oil is up 9% in five days. That's driven by Middle East tension rising. If tension does continue to rise, oil will probably climb even higher, benefiting Aussie energy stocks. For example, Karoon Energy is up 4% today. Beach Energy is following, along with Woodside. That's Australia's largest oil and gas company. Broadly, the ASX energy sector is up 12% in just under a month. Moving to coal, Whitehaven Coal, their shares are up 31% in four weeks thanks to a strong coal price boosted by China stimulus. But do be cautious with Whitehaven Coal. Why? Well, the coal price has dipped for three straight days because the market wants to you know, wait and see for concrete signs that China stimulus will drive commodity demand. Last but definitely not least, watch Australia's largest tech stock, Block. They're known as buying Afterpay. They also run the Square terminals. Now, Afterpay's shares, or known as Square, their shares are rising today after BMO re reiterated the stock as a buy, but they did lower their price target for Block, though, to $92. Morningstar recently called Block out as a buy. It's got a $135 price target, and that's the daily.